for variable kmap is constructed uh, as follows. Uh, min term index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is the same as a 3 variable kmap. Now the min term index 8 goes to the last row of the kmap. So 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, 13, 14, 15. Now this is the order so that we can maintain the adjacency property horizontally or vertically. Uh, here again, uh, don't forget that uh, the first row and the last row are adjacent, uh, considering it's wrapped around. Uh, similarly, first column and the last column are adjacent, uh, they are wrapped around. So it's wrapped around horizontally and vertically. And those, all of those are adjacent cells in considerations. So using uh, four variable, one single cell, one single rectangle has a four variable, it's a min term, two adjacent uh, cells, uh, one variable disappears, so three variables uh, appear as a product term, and the so four adjacent cells uh, end up two variables, uh, and then eight adjacent cells, uh, three variables uh, disappear, and only one variable leaves. Uh, and therefore, we have all 16 cells with the ones, uh, and uh, this is a constant one. So, for variable map, we can find several uh, possibility of uh, adjacent cells. Uh. So, here is an example of a four cell gr a group. Here is another example. Here, four corners are adjacent to each other, so those four corners uh, are one uh, single group. And uh, this is the example of eight cells uh, in adjacent group. Another example, another example, another example. Also, first row and the last row are adjacent, so we have a group of eight adjacent cells. So similarly, first column and last column is an adjacent group. Let's try to find the simplified expression using four variable kmap. Suppose the function f is given this way. The first step is a construct kmap out of the min term list. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 goes to the last row, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So here we have a four variable k map representing the given function f. And we want to find uh, adjacent cells uh, as large as possible. And then the, our ultimate goal is uh, to cover all ones uh, at least once. So let's begin with uh, finding uh, large size, uh, la the largest size uh, group. Uh, uh, here we can see four cells uh, in the center. Another group could be four corners. Four corners are adjacent. Uh, so this is another group. And another group is uh, the entire second row. So having those uh, three groups, uh, we cover all ones at least once. Uh, and then the uh, next step is to find expression for each group. As to the four corners, uh, check the values. Uh, so here, between columns, uh, as you can see, at uh, y changes, uh, but z does not change. So between columns, uh, z does not change, but the value of z is zero, so it's z not. Uh, between rows, uh, first and uh, last row, as you can see, 
W changes, but Z does not change, uh, or X does not change, I'm sorry. So X does not change, but the value of X is 0, so X not. So the four corner, the four cells in the group, is represented by this expression, not X, not Z. In the second row, second row, as you can see, Y and Z changes uh, horizontally, but uh, no, the W and the X uh, does not change between those uh, four cells. Uh. So W does not change, but with the value 0, so we have a not X, uh, not W, and then X does not change, but value of 1 is true form. So expression for this group is uh, not W. X and the four cells in the center expression for that is uh, uh, between rows a uh, value of W changes uh, but uh, value of X does not change so value of X does not change with the value of a one so it's uh, we put X in true form between columns uh, Y changes but Z does not change so it's Z in true form is the expression for that. So simplified solution for function f is uh, uh, O ring those are three terms. So here is expression for the simplified uh, expression for the given function f. Another example uh, first construct uh, for variable k map so 0 1 2 3 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this is a K map for the given function f. We can see that we have uh, four cells here. We don't have any more four cell group. Uh, uh, let me change color of the ink for convenience. And then uh, uh, next the grouping uh, is a group with the two cells. Uh, so we have uh, here two cells adjacent here, another two cells in adjacency, another two cells, another two cells. So remember that goal of uh, using KMAP is to cover once, uh, at least once. Uh. But here, uh, by picking up the four cells uh, does not help much because anyway, we need to have all those uh, four blue ones. Uh. If we choose uh, all those uh, four blue ones, uh, we no longer need uh, the one in the center, the red one. So the simplified expression is uh, having only those uh, four blue groups, uh, which covers all ones at least once. Uh. And then as you can see, uh, each of those uh, blue cells, uh, since we have uh, two cells in a group, one variable disappear, it disappear and each group is uh, represented uh, by three variables. Uh, so we have a result here. Uh, here, though, you may have a question why we do not use the red one, which is a bigger size, uh, to the blue ones. Uh, uh, we are going to talk about that in detail in next uh, video, where we are going to learn how to find uh, optimized solution from the KMAP in systematic way.